Good morning, Ocean Hills. Welcome to what we are calling Jammy Church Sunday. And uh, thanks so much for your adaptability and flexibility. I'm here, John Ireland, with all of our staff and team, or most of them, not all of them. <laughs> and uh, I'm so grateful for these folks and their flexibility as well. We're going to lead you in a 30-minute worship experience, and we invite you to open your hearts to what God can do through the screen and through technology. We're grateful to God for technology. Pastor Cozy. Yeah. Hi, good morning, families. We know this is a unique time for you, so we have got resources on our app. There will be emails. Look out for those. You're not alone. We're still with you. We love you. Yes, we do. Awesome, and we hope you're enjoying having your coffee and bagels and danishes, whatever you're having. Uh, in the living room this morning. Um, and I just want to encourage you, this is, this is obviously caught us all off guard. We're, this is, we're unprepared for, for this season uh, of life. And we want to just encourage you to, to see this time as a gift where you get to slow down with your family and be, uh, be together and have some great conversations and use this time to worship together as a family in your home. We look forward to, uh, to meeting next week and giving you some creative ideas on how to do that. Let's pray together. Good God, thank you that you have created a way for us to be together even though we are not uh, in person, Lord. We are so grateful that the church looks uh, so wonderful and beautiful this morning even though we all can't see it. God, we are thankful uh, that we are gathered in this way. We pray that even though uh, this is a time of uncertainty that we know that you are with us and uh, that you love us. We pray peace and strength and blessing over each person uh, in our God family and our community this morning. We love you and we need you. Amen. 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 Let's worship together. Well, we want to welcome you just like I would if we were in the loop. I want to invite you to sing with us. Lift your voices, lift your hands, lift your hearts. There is no better time to worship than the time when we feel a little bit off kilter, when we're not really sure what's going on. We need to remember and remind each other that God is in control. He is always in control. In Psalm 91 it says, He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my great confidence. So let's just remind each other of that as we sing. We want to build our lives on who he is, on his love, on his presence, not out of our own fear or our own strength. Let's have confidence in who he is. Worthy of every song. Oh 
Wow, that was a perfect song for this extraordinary moment in time right now that we're living in. And definitely want to just say thanks for tuning in this morning. We are in a uh, season right now, aren't we? All of us trying to figure out these uncharted uh, territory of uh, what's next. The coronavirus is impacting all of our lives. And, uh, and you think about our culture and you think about sports, major sporting events being canceled, stock market just getting crazy. This is, this is a really uh, important time in the life of our world, isn't it? And so I, I want to begin by reading this quote for all of us. Uh, it's by psychologist and writer Harriet Lerner. She says, anxiety is extremely contagious, but so is calm. The question becomes, do we want to infect people with more anxiety or heal ourselves and the people around us with calm? And when I read that quote, I thought, I want to be a person that infects and leaks out peace and calm, a non-anxious presence during this time of stress, of fear, of uncertainty. And uh, so this morning, as I think about... Uh, this quote by Rick Warren, he says, we lose our peace when circumstances are uncontrollable. Let me say that again. We lose our peace, peace inside of us, when circumstances are uncontrollable. Isn't that true? I don't know about you, but I watch the news and I freak out. I see my, re my retirement account shrink in the last 10 days. I freak out. I go to Costco to get toilet paper, and they've run out, and I freak out. I try to look at my future travel plans. I'm supposed to be out of the country next week, and I realize that's not going to happen because I might not get back in the country, so I freak out. And as I've been reading Scripture, and as I've been following Jesus, it occurs to me that there really is another way to live. There's another and better way to respond to fear, to respond to stress, to respond to uncertainty, and to become a person of peace. And what is that? It's not based on our circumstances. It's not based on what's happening out there. Real peace, real shalom that comes from God happens in here. It happens when we grow a close relationship with the living God. It happens when we turn our hearts towards Him. And I have here in my notes that shalom, experiencing deep calm in the storm of life, it's not based on what's going on out there, but it is based on what's happening inside. So let's turn to God and let's turn to His Word for our hope. I'm going to just read for you five passages of scripture that I think are worth soaking in. I'm going to read them, but I hope you have a pen, maybe a journal, a piece of paper. Write these down, and with your roommates or with your family, friends, I'd love for you after we're done here this morning is to reread these and soak and pray these over each other and into each other's lives. The first is Psalm 29, verse 11. Psalm 29, verse 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. He blesses his people with peace. I love that. He blesses his people with peace, meaning God wants to bless you and your family and your friends and your with what? With peace. Soak in that. Then in Isaiah 26, 3, Isaiah has this prayer. Listen to these words. He's praying to God and he prays, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Isn't that powerful? Let me read that again. You will keep in perfect peace, perfect peace, all who trust in you. The invitation for us in this extraordinary time is to trust God. And when we trust God, the promise of Scripture is God's job, God will keep us in perfect 
peace, when we have our thoughts, our minds fixed, not on the stock market, not on the news, but our thoughts fixed on Him, the Creator, the Redeemer, the Sustainer of life. And then Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. I'm sure most of you have this memorized. If not, it's time to get it memorized now. In fact, my wife said she woke up last night at 2 in the morning and she was praying these two verses, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Now listen to verse 7. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Gosh, that is such an amazing promise. When we turn to God in prayer, when we reach out and cry out and cling to Him and trust Him in prayer, what's the promise? He will guard our hearts and our minds with His peace. Wow. And then I love the words of Jesus in these last two verses. John chapter 16, verse 33. Jesus said this to his followers, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. Jesus said it. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. What's he saying? He's saying we are going to have trouble. Just expect it. Anticipate it. Don't be caught off guard. But peace, real peace, it's not going to happen out there. It's not going to happen when your circumstances die down. It happens when we turn to Him. Turn to Him. Because what's He say? In me, you may have peace. And then in John 14, verse 27, I love this. Jesus says to His followers, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Those are the words of Jesus for you and for me right now in real time. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. Well, how do we do that? We do that by reaching out, crying out, and drawing near to God. Because when we draw near to God, He draws near to us. And so, that's the word today. That's my word of encouragement to you. Keep Drawing near to God. Keep reaching out in closeness to God. Peace is directly connected to my closeness to God and to yours. So let me close with this prayer. And now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Ocean Hills, we love you and we're in it together. Thanks for listening. God bless you.
Hey, thanks so much for being a part of this online gathering. We are united in spirit, even though we're not together physically, we are together in spirit and we're so thankful that you were part of this. We wanna encourage you this week, especially to stay connected. Stay connected to each other, stay connected to your life groups, stay connected to your, your friends at our church and encourage each other and, and just, just send out those encouragements as you think of them and as God puts them on your heart to, to just keep each other focused on, on God and his peace and what he wants for us in this, this extraordinary time. Um, we want to we want to encourage you to keep stay connected to our website and our app. We're gonna we're gonna be making decisions about our programs day to day. These all these things are happening so fast that we're just we're just kind of day by day. We we don't have any big announcements about that. So everything's going on as planned, except uh, every day we're gonna be making little decisions. So stay connected there. We're gonna be coming out with some resources, hopefully, to help you grow spiritually and connect relationally during this time where people are a little more isolated physically, so look out for those. And uh, we wanna make sure to encourage you to be the church. This is the time for the church to rise up and be aware of people's needs around you. Don't just isolate and think of yourself. This is our time, church, to, to really, to open our eyes and to see how can we serve our neighbors? How can we serve those who are, who are in need, who are, are all around us? There are going to be so many who, who are going to need help and encouragement and going to need your, your extra help right now. So open your eyes to that. And lastly, we would love to have you keep supporting us. Our church staff is going to be working hard these next few weeks to meet needs in our community and to figure out how to serve our community. And so we need your support. Um, if you aren't already giving online, we would love to have you join our online giving, and you can do that by just a simple text, 77977 is the number, and you text Ocean Hills to that number, 77977, text Ocean Hills, and something will pop up for you, or you can go online and jump into that as well. So thank you uh, for being a part of this this morning. Let's pray together, and, uh, and thank God for this time. Heavenly Father, we are, are just grateful that, uh, God, you've given us the technology to connect uh, in this way and to be united in your spirit. And we pray for your Holy Spirit, God, over our city, over our country, over our world, that you would come and do what only you can do. God, you would, you would make a way, you would make something great out of this crazy time. And we know you can do that, God. We know you can bring your peace. We know we, you can turn people to you in this time of anxiety and this time of stress. And so thank you for your peace that we heard about today. Would you implant your peace in our hearts? And I pray that our families and, and all of us in community would, would carry your peace wherever we go. We would be a non-anxious presence in this world. So... Just uh, empower us, God, to live by your Spirit. Thank you for this time this morning. And we say this in your name, Jesus. Amen. And we'd like to close our, our time together by saying God is good. All the time! All the time! God is good! He's bigger and better than you think. Have a great day.